One day you're playing outside, the ground is flat and you have a great view. Suddenly, a grenade rolled under your feet. At this point, what do you think you can do to maximize your chances of survival? Many people's first reaction is to pick it up and throw it. But this kind of operation is not so easy to realize in reality. For example, the Mark II grenade, which was the most produced grenade during World War II. When the enemy ripped open the safe and threw the grenade and released the grip, the firing pin shoots out and hits the fuse. The fuse is ignited. A four-second countdown to detonation begins. By the time it lands at your feet, you'll probably have about a second left. You have to find it and pick it up in such a short period of time and throw it to a safe distance. The chances of success are very low. If you find a grenade and immediately rush out and fall to the ground, a normal human being would be able to get four to five meters away from the grenade in one to two seconds. The Mark II grenade is engraved with a prefabricated fragmentation groove. When it explodes, it creates over 40 pieces of shrapnel, which shoots evenly in all directions. And by lying on the ground with your heels back, you minimize your exposure to the blast. At this distance, the probability of you being hit by shrapnel is less than 1%. Let's take another scenario. If you are playing by the pond, at this point, there are two grenades thrown from nowhere. One rolled under your feet and the other landed in the water. Then, when you see what's happening right now, do you run out and fall on the ground or do you jump left into the water? If you choose to jump in the water, the chances of you getting hit by shrapnel are almost zero because the resistance of water is 800 times that of air. Experiments have proved that even the powerful AK-47 fired underwater. Effective range is less than half a meter away. So the explosion in the water, the shrapnel of the grenade is not a threat to you at all. Then jump into the water is the best choice. Not really. Without taking into account the effects of shrapnel, a Mark II grenade explodes on land with a lethal shock wave of only 1.5 meters. Because air is easily compressed. Beyond that range, the pressure drops rapidly to less than 517,000 pounds. It's very difficult to cause fatal injuries to the human body, but underwater is completely different. When an explosion occurs, because water is not easily compressed, the energy of the shockwave can travel a long distance. Human mouth, nose, lungs, stomach, and other organs contain a lot of air equivalent to a balloon filled with half water and half air. Once the shock wave is applied to the balloon, the air inside the balloon is compressed. The surface will be torn and twisted by the irregular pressure. Obviously, your heart, liver, and lungs are far less elastic than a balloon. So you can imagine, if you were in the water at this point, the shock wave would have churned the air-containing organs in your body to pieces. So in summary, if you choose to sprint forward and fall to the ground, you have a 1% chance of getting hit by shrapnel. But if you choose to jump into the water, there's a good chance you'll spend the rest of your life in the water.